What's up guys? So today we got an awesome treat planned for Sky and Kakoa. We're going to be making cookies and cream dog ice cream. It's a really interesting recipe so stay tuned and let's get started. So we're going to start off by making the chocolate cookie for the cookies and cream ice cream. It's going to be one and one fourth cup of whole wheat flour. Um, you can also use any other flour substitute. Then we're going to add in a half a cup of carob powder. This is the chocolate substitute. It's really good for dogs. Um, it has no caffeine and three times the calcium of chocolate. Um, and of course, dogs are allowed to have it. Oh, <laughs> they're getting excited. <laughs> then we're gonna do one teaspoon of baking soda. And then one quarter teaspoon of baking powder and salt. We're just gonna mix this together and then set it aside and mix our wet ingredients together. Okay, so for the wet ingredients, we're gonna start off with one egg. You're gonna whisk it. <laughs> Kiko. <laughs> no, you guys. Sky. Half a cup of applesauce. And then you're gonna mix this together really good. I'll let you have one little taste. Okay, that's a big taste. Good girls. <laughs> okay, they're excited to have these. I, they, I think it's the applesauce, actually, because they've never had applesauce and it smells really strong. You're gonna bring your dry ingredients back over, make a little well in the middle for your wet ingredients, and then just go ahead and pour it in and mix it together. Now this um, batter is gonna be quite moist. It's not supposed to be a, a thick or like a tough batter that you roll into balls. You'll just scoop it out. And make sure you preheated your oven to 375 degrees. Um, and then, so that way it's ready for when you're ready to put your cookies in. All right, so the batter is a little bit drier than I want it, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more applesauce to make it a pretty good consistency. And you wanna make sure that it's unsweetened applesauce, no added sugars or anything. All right, so that's much better. You guys wanna try it? They're going crazy. It actually smells really strong. You like it? <laughs> oh yeah, you got your bees trying to steal cocoas. All right, so once you got your batter mixed up, you're just gonna roll it into um, just small cookie forms. It doesn't really matter because later we are gonna be crushing them up into crumbs uh, for the ice cream. So you're just gonna make a little small cookies, um, put them on your tray, just a cookie tray. We put uh, aluminum foil on ours to make it a little bit easier to peel them off um, after they're cooked. But you're gonna put these in your oven, like I said, 375 degrees for about 10 minutes. So we're gonna pop these in the oven and then we'll get back and show you how to make the ice cream parts. All right, so this is our cookie sheets rolled out onto the pan. This is what we're gonna put in the oven. Um, and we do have quite a bit of leftover dough, so we thought it'd be a good idea. Um, we're just gonna put the leftover dough in these silicone paw print trays to have just little cookie treats um, left over with the ice cream. So here are the cookies out of the oven. We let them cool, we put them in the refrigerator so they would cool faster. Um, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna crumble up the cookies. They were going crazy while they're in the oven. Do you guys wanna taste it? Okay, come on. Here, Kakoa. Okay, Sky first. Oh, Kakoa takes a hide. What do you guys think? Huh? Okay. No, <laughs> you guys, you guys, you're making my video a disaster. So we're gonna crumble up these cookies into this bowl. This is going to be the cookie part of the cookie and cream ice cream. I know, I know, they're so excited. So then once you get these cookies crumbled up, um, the interesting part, the ice cream is only one ingredient. We got plain yogurt, make sure it's plain and not vanilla, um, with active ingredients. We're gonna put three cups of this uh, yogurt into the bowl and then add the cookies. <laughs> this looks so good, but I'm sure it does not taste that good for humans. There's no sugar in it, it's not real chocolate. Come on, you guys. Man, they are just so excited today. <laughs> so we're gonna stir this up, and then we're gonna add them into these silicone trays. 
Um, we got dog bones and paw prints. Put them in the freezer. We're actually gonna leave them in the freezer overnight so they're hardened really hard. Um, and then these pups get to try their cookies and cream ice cream in the morning for breakfast. So this is how the ice cream is going to look after you crumble up the cookies and mix it all together. Um, I've already filled up these bone trays, but now I'm gonna fill up these paw print trays and then we're going to set them in the freezer. All right, so this is what the treats look like after they've been frozen. These pups have been dying to try them all night, so let's see how they like them. All right, so we made a little bit bigger bones and the paw prints are a little bit smaller. So we're just gonna start them out with one of the smaller paw prints. You gotta get up. Okay, Kakoa, here you go. Sky, you're not even gonna stand up. <laughs> Sky, do you not like your tree? Yeah, I knew you would. You just needed a little help. <laughs> All right, so if you guys like these DIY treat videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Comment down below what you thought of this video. If you're gonna try it, let us know how your dogs like it. And thank you for watching.